Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna tell you why I don't drink alcohol. So I stopped drinking alcohol uh, over three and a half years and I it's just been one of the best decisions, if not the best decision that I've made in my life so far. I started drinking when I was 17 and then I stopped drinking when I was 23 and it was obviously my college years, <laughs> had a lot of fun times, not gonna lie. Uh, I was living in Paris at the time, so that was a lot of wine and a lot of beer and a lot of partying. It was, it was fun, it was good times, um, I'm not gonna lie. But three and a half years ago when I decided to take a break from alcohol, uh, I did this because I am, I felt like I was falling into this uh, cycle where I would drink for anything. If I was happy and I was celebrating, I would drink. If I was sad, I would drink. If I was mad, I, was, I would drink. If I was feeling anxious, I would drink. For everything, it was a drink and a drink and a drink. Over time, I got tired of it. I got tired of the after effect. I got tired of the hangovers. I used to have the worst hangovers, you guys. Like, you have no idea. I was one of those persons that almost every weekend, I would be in bed for five to six hours, literally just throwing up, and it would get to a point where I wasn't, there was nothing else in me to be thrown up, and I was just throwing up like bile from, from the liver, I, and I was just throwing up like acid from my stomach. That would last for like five to six hours. There was sometimes when I had to go to the hospital to get some IV uh, because I was so dehydrated. Everything, I would throw up even water uh, or sports drinks, like I used to drink like Gatorades stuff like that. It was funny because at, by the end of the night when I was like feeling better by like 7, 8 p.m. I was like, oh, I'm feeling better. Okay, I'm gonna go out now. And I would go out and just drink some more. So not only was my body like not healthy at all, but emotionally, mentally, uh, I was just very low and also spiritually, like that just did not even exist. Another thing is that um, I had a lower self-esteem. I was more prone to being uh, anxious or depressed by anything. And the reason for this is that alcohol is like a high. It takes you on a high. And then afterwards, it's, it acts as a depressant. So the day after and the week after, I would not feel good emotionally and I didn't understand why. And what did I do to feel better? Drink <laughs> or smoke a cigarette. And it was just the cycle that was going on and on. Of course I did not have any energy to work out. I was barely just getting enough energy to get through my day. I was drinking tons of coffee, a lot of caffeine. I was one of those persons that would go into Starbucks and get an Americano and I would do that two to three times a day. Like a lot, a lot of coffee. And then when I stopped drinking, like after three weeks, a month of not drinking, I felt the after effects. And I was just with me and my emotions and just, just me. I didn't have anything to numb myself, to get away, to disconnect. And then on top of that, I stopped smoking cigarettes and I started eating just raw fruits and vegetables. So I was feeling my body so clean. That helped me so much to not drink any more alcohol. It was just me and my emotions. And that's when work really began. I really started to just improve and become a better version of myself. I felt that because I had to deal with myself. I got to know myself and I healed so many things. I have healed a lot of things throughout the years ever since I stopped drinking alcohol uh, because I haven't had anything to numb myself. So honestly, it's been just an amazing journey for me. So beautiful. Of course, I want to say that I don't think that drinking is bad and I don't think that drinking is right. I don't judge people at all who drink alcohol. There are so many people that can drink responsibly and that can drink, you know, have one or two glasses of wine and that's it. I was not that person. I, uh, whenever I had one, I always wanted the other one. If I And if I did have one, it was always like, oh, I really wanted another one. It was hard for me to just drink a couple glasses of wine. I always wanted to feel that little more extra effect of I honestly like the effect of a blackout, of just not checking out, of just not being there. 
And it was just this very unhealthy cycle. And over time, the more that I, the more time that passed of me not drinking and eating raw fruits and vegetables, I started to get more comfortable in my skin. I started to get more comfortable being like just being me, being the authentic me. That if all of a sudden I feel like getting up and dancing, you know, I, I I'll do it. And or if I have something to say, I'll say it. I am. And, and I'm confident now enough to go up to people that I don't know and start talking to them and start conversations. Whereas before, I couldn't do that anymore. I had to have a little drink and relax and feel confident. And then I would start like talking to people and like laughing with people. And now I don't need that. And this doesn't mean that I'm like boring and I'm like sitting in my house alone. I go out with my friends all the time who drink and it's fun. Like I'll go to bars, I'll go to clubs sometimes times I will just dance and I'll laugh at them if they're doing funny things but the amazing thing is that I mean obviously I have a lot of fun but the amazing thing is that the next day I wake up super fresh and I'm like okay let's go run let's go work out let's go do something and I get to enjoy and my friends thankfully have been so supportive they were always just encouraging me like yeah if you don't want to drink don't drink and it's just become like a normal thing and I know that sometimes it can be hard. I've been to places where people are like, hey, drink, drink, drink. What? You're not going to drink? I'm like, no, it's fine. Like, I don't need it. I, I'm having fun. Like, I'm good. <laughs> There's obviously tons of ways to say it. Like, and so I'm always polite. And I'm like, oh, no, thank you. But thanks anyways. Uh, so I'm going to do this video because I want, I know I, that I did another video on like my alcoholism story. But this one... I just wanted to dive a little bit more into the subject, uh, give a little more details to you guys of why I don't drink alcohol and the benefits that it's had for me. I take it one day at a time. I'm not saying that I'm never going to drink alcohol uh, for the rest of my life. I mean, it's definitely something that I don't want in my life. I, I don't feel like it's necessary, uh, but you know, like life does many turns that you never know what's gonna happen. I also wanna say that a lot of people think that once you go vegan or raw vegan, you can't drink alcohol. Uh, honestly, everything is a personal decision. I, I have friends that are vegan and are they still drink some alcohol once in a, in a while. So it's not like a set of rules. This is just my experience, what I like, and I'm just deciding to share it with you guys. And if I hadn't stopped drinking alcohol, I wouldn't be here with you guys. I wouldn't be sharing this. I would not I would have never started to make YouTube videos and have this amazing relationship that I have with you guys. And I wouldn't want to change that. I now feel more enthusiasm for life. I feel like I have a purpose every day I wake up and it's like, okay, bring it on. What's today has to me. And it just feels amazing to feel good, to feel like on my 100% all the time. Whereas before, it wasn't. It just feels amazing to feel good. Like I now know what that feels like. And I wouldn't want to change that for anything because if I put the balance, yes, you have a great time. Yes, there's many stories and yes, it's funny if you drink alcohol. But then I have all of these other benefits that I'm like, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? And for me, it's not. Another thing is that I now have much more healthier relationships, um, like love, love relationships. Before, if I was over a, a glass or two glasses of wine, it was I, I would say things that I would later regret. I would hurt the other person's feelings. I would get angry faster. I would talk without thinking, and this would just create an environment of anger of resentment resentment and of guilt that I don't want to be a part of anymore and I wouldn't want to have that and bring that into any of my new relationships or even a fam my family like if I 
have children in the future, if I have a family in the future, I don't want them to see that that side of me, which is not even me. It's just a, a person that comes out from the effect of alcohol. You never know what's going to happen. You never know how you are going to react when you're drinking alcohol. And I wouldn't want to uh, risk that, risk uh, any of my relationships because I had a few extra drinks. I don't think it's worth it. And of course, definitely for myself. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, please let me know in the the comment section or if you have your experience that you would like to share if maybe you did stop drinking and then you started drinking again and now you have a healthy relationship or you just stopped drinking alcohol or you do decide to drink alcohol and drink consciously please share that with us because I mean I will benefit from it and I, and I know that a lot of other people could benefit from that as well there's so much power in sharing our story and our testimony because we never know who we are gonna inspire who we're gonna touch or who God is gonna touch at the end so anyways uh, I think that's it I think that's all I wanted to say and thank you I wanted to say thank you for watching this video thank you for being here thank you for being an inspiration to me because you guys inspire me every single day to be a better person you guys inspire me to become a better version of myself and you guys inspire me to learn things to share with you to help others i mean i i hope that by making these videos i can uh, help you in any way because that's why i'm here i'm here for you guys so that's about it. Again, <laughs> I send you guys lots of love and light. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, please. And share it with your friends, with your family. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And I'll leave you all of my social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Pinterest at Ravana. Okay. Love you guys so much. Besos. Bye.